Alyssa Caverly here standing in front of Highclere Castle, better known as Downton Abbey. With the Grand Estate right behind me, you might not believe that we're just a few hundred miles from the bustling masses of downtown London. The fictional home of Lord and Lady Grantham, this castle's beauty and elegance are very real. Join me as I take you inside the real Downton Abbey and to some nearby attractions inspired by the Victorian drama. Built in the late 18th century, Highclere Castle is home to the Carnarvons. On the outside, it's the epitome of an English estate. Above the stairs, it looks more like a cathedral than a home with 50-foot ceilings. The dusting alone would make me think twice about living here. Highclere is open to the public and a must-stop for the show's fans. With the help of a guide, you can see the above-stair world of Downton Abbey's aristocratic Crawley family. Highclere's own aristocratic family manages the filming and tours. The power of television for marketing is extraordinary and we're terribly lucky in a really difficult economic time to have people wanting to visit here. So fantastic. That's the first point. The second point that's really pleasing is online you can go and visit the gardens or the castle in gardens or the castle gardens and exhibition. And I'd have thought 80% of the visitors opt to see the Egyptian exhibition as well. So they're buying into the Highclere mm -hmm. side, mm -hmm. which, is, which is very nice because I'm proud of the, what Downton Abbey have achieved and I'm proud of Highclere. Be sure to take a look at rooms made famous by the series, including the bedroom where the handsome Turkish diplomat Mr. Pamuk suffers a premature and suspicious death. Feel like channeling your inner dowager countess with high tea? I mean, Maggie Smith's character, that archetypal English aristocratic woman is has been in this castle. At Fortnum and Mason in London, you can have a roaring 20 style high tea featuring sandwiches and cakes, among other things. Finally, if you want to tally ho like Downton's resident horsewoman, Lady Mary, then visit Hyde Park Stables. The most famous equestrian venue in London for 300 years, it provides both riding hats and boots free of charge. So next time you visit jolly old England, get to the beautiful green paradise of the British countryside. And if you haven't had a chance to watch the mystery and intrigue above and below the stairs, check out Downton Abbey. Believe me, once you see it, you'll be eager to drink tea and live like the Dowager Countess too.